you are going to want to load up on some Dollar Tree fencing and Easy Care Full Flowers. I'm removing the dirt stakes from two plastic fence panels by scoring the plastic with an X-Acto knife, then snapping the pieces off. Putting weight on the board, I'm snapping off the pieces with pliers. Now I'm flipping over the two fence panels good side down. I'm joining the four corners of the overlapped areas with black zip strips, also from the Dollar Tree. I'm placing the joined panels on top of a third fence panel, taking note how much I'll need to create for a bottom. I'm now going to round out the shape of the basket by attaching the bottom to the basket. The bottom is positioned, then zip stripped into place, adding extra straps around the corners for additional support. I mixed up a small batch of acrylic craft paint to create a rust tone. Then I'm dabbing the paint onto the basket in a random way to simulate realistic rust. I'm creating a liner for the basket bottom by placing the basket onto a double-sided Amazon shipping package, then tracing it and cutting it out so it fits the inside of the basket perfectly. Some floral foam from a dollar store is being placed inside the basket. Some green moss I scooped off my lawn is being positioned along the bottom of the basket, good side facing out. Craft moss can be used as well. Sprigs of taller grass is being inserted into the floral foam. Other flowers are being rotated in tone, then inserted into the floral foam around the grass. Now that all the flowers are positioned, I'm able to continue to rotate paper filler with moss until all the sides of the basket are completely lined with moss. The tops of the tall grass is getting unevenly trimmed with scissors to give it a more natural look. And the final result is a gorgeous, realistic flower basket that I never need to water. The rusty iron basket looks like the real deal, and so does the flower arrangement, thanks to the added branches and real moss. I hope this inspires you to grab a couple of cheap fence panels, along with some full flowers, to create a beautifully realistic flower basket of your own. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and see you next time! Pick up one garden border from your local Dollar Tree. Cut the spike bases off of the border fence. Add small black zip ties to attach the wreath form to the border fence. Wrap the border fence with small twinkle lights all the way around. Add greenery of choice around the top of the border fence with hot glue. There you have it, a cheap way to create your own boho inspired pendant light for your home for less than $10. I hope this inspired you to try this DIY home decor project. Thanks for watching Home Talk and see you next time. All right, so we are going to start our project with these uh, flexible plastic garden fences. I got mine at Dollar Tree. You should only need about four of these for this project. Um, and I'm gonna start with the first two. I'm gonna start by cutting the bottoms off of this. Just using regular scissors for this part. You want to make sure you're using sharp scissors. These ones are a little dull. <laughs> so now that I've cut the spikes off, I'm going to get those out of the way. Um, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be laying our pieces of garden fence kind of overlapping. So I'm going to have it overlap about this much. So these two pieces are kind of overlapping with the other side. Um, but I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to secure these two pieces together. Now you can use a variety of things for this. I'm gonna be using floral wire for this. Um, I'm gonna be securing this on three points. So I'm probably gonna secure it up here and here because I don't want it wiggling too much. So see if it, if you only secure it in one spot, it's really um, gonna be a little harder to work with, especially with what we're gonna do for this project. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to basically connect these on the same place over here. We still wanna maintain that round shape, but we'll get into that in a bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the same thing essentially on the other side and uh, we will be back. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our round piece and we're gonna lay it over. Because essentially we're gonna be using this as our bottom. So yeah, so we're gonna use this over our bottom kind of best fit and see where we need to cut along the, the fence here. So I think I'm actually gonna cut right here. So we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna place this over and we are going to work on attaching this top piece to this bottom piece. I'm gonna do it, uh, I'm gonna start in four corners and then I'm going to see what other positions need to be added. 
So now what we're gonna do is we are going to um, cut off the excess over here. So if you can see, we have a little bit of excess here. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm just gonna make sure I cut off as much of it as I can. There we go. All right, so now we have this round piece finished. We got our base done. So we're gonna move on to our next step, which is creating um, a top. All right, for this next step, we're gonna take our fourth piece of fence and we are going to essentially be separating it. So I'm gonna cut down the middle first just to make it a little easier to work with. Okay. So we are gonna start by using this bottom half piece and we're gonna cut the spikes off again like we did on the last um, couple of uh, fences for the basket. And so we're gonna keep this side nice and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut right above this little guy right here, this little uh, piece. And we're gonna go straight across. Okay, so we have this piece already. I'm gonna put it on this, to the side so we can work on the other one. For this piece, we are going to cut across, but we are gonna cut across this top part. We're gonna get rid of the little spiky guys and the, the, the little hoops. So what we're gonna do for this part is we are just gonna lay them on top of one another and we're just gonna secure them in place with our wire. So pulling out my handy dandy wire again. We're gonna do the same thing we did to secure the other part of our basket. So stay tuned, we'll be back when this is all secured together and reinforced with our wire. We're gonna do it exactly the same way. We just want these two pieces to um, stay attached. All right, so this is now secured. So we are going to attach this piece to our lower part with the wire and then we are going to attach it on the other side. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna become a basket. All right, so now that this is all attached, we are going to add a coat of some of my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white. Um, you can paint this obviously any color you want, but um, I wanna give it kind of an age rustic vibe. So I'm gonna be using a normal brush and probably a foam brush for this step. We're just gonna start applying our paint. And like I said, we want this to kind of look a little rustic so it doesn't need to be perfectly coated, but we're gonna cover the entire thing and we'll let it dry. All right, so now we've let the paint dry for our basket and I'm gonna add my own little spin to this. So you can stop at this point if you'd like, but I'm going to be adding some twine uh, to my basket in certain areas just to give it like a really nice decorative accent. Um, and also to keep the, the basket in the position that I want it to be. So first I'm going to start with my side, the sides of my handles. But I want to kind of, like I said, reinforce this so it doesn't go anywhere, but also kind of give it like a rustic look. And so I'm probably gonna have to ball up my twine a little bit just so it's easier to work with. Essentially, I'm just gonna try and kind of cover up this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep wrapping my twine so we will be back when we're ready to move on to the next step. So now I've wrapped the, uh, the top and the sides with the twine. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go put it out on my screened in porch for where it's gonna live. 